Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna give you an estimate of how much your living expenses can be if you're studying in US as a master's student. And before that, if anyone's new to this channel, welcome to this channel. I'm Shanmok, uh, currently pursuing my master's in mechanical engineering at Clemson University. And the video structure is gonna be as follows. First, I'm gonna talk about one-time expenses and then I'm gonna talk about monthly expenses. And the second part of the video will be on how you can find out living expenses uh, of if you're going to a certain university and then third part of the video will be on whether you can afford living expenses uh, by doing a part-time job in us which is on campus and the last part of the video will be how you as a viewer can help another student uh, know about the living expenses so coming to the first part uh, i'll actually note it down in the phone so one-time investments will be i'll just add a screenshot over here so you, you can see it uh, first you're gonna buy a study table which will be around 65 dollars uh, before that uh, all the prices i'm mentioning it's not too basic uh, of the item or it's not too luxurious it's the optimal way which uh, which can be a better product for you so the study table approximately will cost you 60 to 70 dollars student chair 30 to 40 dollars is good amount and then you need an organizer so that you can keep all your uh, items in it and that costs around 25 to 30 bucks and then bed frame 75 dollars uh, i mean i usually do not suggest bed frame because the bed mattress is thick and you can just put it on the floor and sleep but there is an advantage of having a bed frame because it creates an extra space under your bed uh, under which you can keep your luggage or any bags or anything and then mattress i would suggest you to get a new mattress don't go with the old mattress or any mattress that lies in your room it may have bed bugs and you don't want to risk it uh, i was told by our property management like after signing the lease that if you if anyone finds the bed bugs they will trace the source of the bed bugs basically which from which bed they have uh, started coming and they will find around 800 dollars or something to pest it out so better to buy new mattress and then pillow pillow will be around 15 dollars a good pillow and then fitted sheet to the bed bed mattress that could be around anywhere from 15 to 20 dollars and then a comforter it's cold in us so you need a comforter and comfort comes with the pillow cover set so that costs around 25 to 30 dollars so that should be good total around it it will be around 450 dollars so this is like one time investment you don't need to buy it over and over and over, and over again between uh, if you're coming to clemson university uh, you don't need to buy chair and table because clemson university has a place called surplus in which uh, there are already used chairs and tables study tables and study chairs or uh, if you need any monitor you can get it from there so but uh, as a student you cannot go if you know any friend who has an assistantship who has uh, who's been a grader or who's a teaching assistant or who's a research assistant he can get it from for you so uh, i got a teaching assistantship in my second semester that is my current semester so i was able to get this chair so i also uh, actually went to get another chair but uh, it was not uh, fitting in our car so i did not get it so if you're coming to Clemson, that is one advantage you have. Just contact anyone who has an assistant chef or your roommate and anyone. He can just uh, sign it and get it, get one for you. And if you're going to any other university, uh, even if there is or there uh, might not be a place like this where you can get free stuff, like if, if you feel that uh, these prices are costly, you can always fetch study tables and study chairs on Facebook Marketplace. Many of the students who already use it will be willing to sell it for very low price because they know how difficult it is uh, to be a student in US. So that is one thing. But before you buy or send money to anyone in the Facebook market, just make sure it's a legit one so that you don't get fraud. Frauded, so And coming to monthly expenses, it changes from the place you live in so if you're living in a place like suburb like clemson where i live it would cost you pretty much less than what it would cost you in new york or california so the difference between the cost of living can go around thousand dollars so don't go with the only university i am speaking anyway i'm gonna tell you about how you can find out so coming to the clemson university if anyone's clemson university this might be helpful to you so i'm gonna talk about monthly expenses so rent can be anywhere from 250 to 350 dollars but um, i i saw many students doesn't prefer to live in 350 dollar apartments because it's a little expensive it's less an overkill for you i mean 250 dollars is like the basic one which i live in where i get 
uh, a separate room for myself and I share one bathroom with uh, one of my roommates and then electricity can go around any for anywhere from 30 to 50 dollars water bill and sewage can go anywhere from 20 to 30 dollars mind you all these expenses are per, he per head not for all the four roommates so it's it's just on you and then wi-fi bill can go around 13 dollars one three per head and then phone bill it comes around 30 dollars uh, i mean basically any plan you take uh, it's better to take a family plan just gather five or six of your friends and take a family plan it will cost you around 30 dollars you'll get unlimited data and unlimited calls per month so 30 dollars per month and then groceries this goes from 150 to 180 dollars being uh, around 30 dollars a week 30 to 40 dollars a week and then if you just multiply it by four you'll get around 160 to 180 dollars and then miscellaneous i'm gonna not talk about miscellaneous expenses because this varies from person to person if you're a person who like to club and party this may be a little uh, more expensive than you to the person who doesn't like partying or who doesn't like to eat outside food so it completely depends so that's something you need to find out by yourself so the total expenses in clemson comes around from to be from anywhere from 550 to 700 dollars that's like the basic living and coming to if you're a student who, who is going to another university you can find out with this method you can contact any senior from linkedin whatsapp group facebook group any source but i would prefer linkedin because it builds a uh, professional uh, connections as, as well for you which can help you in future if you're searching for internship or anything so i would prefer you connect and link them with with the seniors and then you talk to them about how much is the living expenses like how do they live also check how do they live uh, if they live luxuriously then you might uh, cross your budget so just talk to them you'll get an idea you'll get a rough estimate so that's about how you can know the living expenses and the third part of the video is whether you can afford living expenses by all all by yourself if you're doing a part-time so again this depends i'll talk about the clemson so clemson minimum st clemson state i mean not clemson is in south carolina so south carolina minimum wage is around 7.5 dollars per hour but in clemson university if you're doing on-campus job you'll get around 10 to 11 dollars per hour that is for sure so if you work for 15 hours you'll get around 600 dollars per month 15 hours per week you'll get 600 to 700 dollars per month which should be sufficient for your living but if let's say if you're living in a california and your living expense, expenses can be anywhere from 1500 to 2000 dollars i don't think you can cover it up with your part-time job probably you need any assistantship to cover it up so this again wholly depends on the place you're going and the type of the job you get on campus and it the situation is different from university to university whether you'll get an on-campus job or how how much they pay or how many opportunities are there so the only way you can find out is by talking to the current students so i have actually made a video on how you can contact seniors and how you can get replies not by just in, just sending them a connection request but by adding them a note just look it out if you're interested and then the final part of the video how you can help students so i've actually uh, i've actually asked one, like many of my friends who are studying in us in different universities to comment down on, uh, under this video how much like how much are they paying for their living expenses to study in us so before releasing releasing this video i'll make sure they comment by sending them video in private mode or something so if you are watching this video if you're going to any university and if you know the living expenses over there or if you have any friend sibling cousin anyone who knew who you knew personally who is living or study, studying in that university please send them this video and ask them to comment down or they can just message me on instagram or linkedin i'll happy to comment down on my video so that is one way i actually thought of uh, creating an excel sheet and then updating it but it's a tedious work i mean the more response i get it will be again a work for me to upload into that update the excel sheet so that doesn't seem to be a good plan but commenting on the video seems pretty much easier you can just open it and comment it on your phone itself so that's that's my plan so if you can comment it would be really helpful to the students who are watching this video if not just message me i'll comment down so that's it guys i hope this video helps you in one or the other way or if you have any questions just message me on instagram and linkedin or linkedin i'll try to reply to the most best of my knowledge for sure so that's it i'll see you in the next one bye bye